<laughs> Mike stands a little tall for me. All right. Uh, so, hi, my name is Ben Johnson. I am the lead organizer of VT Hacks, and I'm actually going to be talking today about having organizers both volunteer and mentor at hackathons. Uh, so, whenever I go to a new hackathon, and I usually am volunteering at it, uh, I always see these three symptoms of confusion, panic, and poor decision making. And as you can tell, all three feed into each other, and I don't think I really ever see only one of those things present. Uh, but yeah, so new organizers, you're very stressed, and I imagine many of you here are new organizers, so you're going to be panicking like crazy on your day of. I hope you look forward to it. So this is where I get into the story of I volunteered at the first Hack Duke in fall 2013, and I was still kind of a wannabe hackathon organizer at the time. I was like, eh, maybe VT Hacks will be a thing, probably not, I don't know. Uh, and I ran into uh, Ishan from Hack MIT, who was actually helping uh, out Dennis, who was the director at the time. And as I mentioned before, like those symptoms, well, Dennis had all of them usually simultaneously. And uh, Ishan was there always advising him on like, all right, so maybe you don't want to suddenly throw out $4,000 on that, uh, even though things seem kind of bad right now. It'll probably blow over in like 45 minutes. Uh, so he constantly advised uh, Dennis and made sure that he was calm and collected in his decision making. Uh, he also would sometimes override Dennis, which isn't the worst thing in the world actually. Uh, he would modify event plans or even the logistics and in, in order to avoid chaos. In fact, we actually threw out the expo, I think it was like eight hours before it happened uh, and redeployed everything for that. So that was a, that was a fun morning. Uh, and then, of course, we made sure that Dennis slept. Uh, new time organizers, you want to sleep. And actually, a lot of you old organizers, you need to sleep as well, y and you know that you need to, and you don't, and it makes my job harder when I'm trying to make you go to sleep. Go to sleep. I will steal your phone. I stole Dennis's phone. <laughs> I will. So... After Hack Duke, I saw this mentorship from Ishan, and I decided I really need to do this more. I really need to see more of the behind the scenes of hackathons, and I need to help out as much as I can. So when I started VT Hacks, I made it a prerequisite that everybody that organizes VT Hacks has to volunteer at at least one hackathon before we go day of. And actually, 12 out of our 13 people met that prereq. And in fact, many of them volunteered at, mo uh, at more than one hackathon, which was awesome. And my goal with this was to help, uh, help the community as a whole. And there are hackathons that do struggle with getting volunteers. Once again, new organizers, you need to look into that. Um, and there's also just these new organizers are freaking out. And if we can help, that's great. And we get the added benefit of getting hackathon organizer experience day of without having to risk our own event. Um, <laughs> so thank you. Uh, we get to experiment at your hackathon. Uh, I did that as well, a lot. Um, but so we had that going on for VT Hacks, but also day of at VT Hacks, we had, uh, let's see, the organizers from Penapps, Hack PSU, Hack FSU, and Hack RU. Uh, and we proactively reached out to these people, and we were like, we want you here. In fact, we actually paid, uh, did anyone here not get travel reimbursement from VT Hacks? That, uh, okay, uh, great. Um, <laughs> so we actually paid double the travel reimbursement for one of our, uh, for the organizer of HackFSU Diva, because we really value having organizers at our event for when shit hits the fan, you really want them. Um, I mean, honestly, like, it is so worth having Bren, who I'm thinking is probably going to talk a little bit about something that happened at VT Hacks, but <laughs> we'll see. Um, but yeah, like, I got to sleep because these people were there, and they were helping constantly. So one concern about this is standardization, and that hackathons could become very cookie cutter as a result, and I don't think that's very true. You learn more about the process than actual, res uh, like, solutions here, and that's very important. Um, and what happens at Hack Duke won't happen at VT Hacks, and our needs aren't the same. So 
I think that this sh should be a standard uh, where new hackathons have at least one third of their organizers volunteer at a hackathon before day of. And I think MLH should also facilitate getting mentorship for these new hackathons where they reach out to well-established hack hackers and hackathons in order to get mentors to these new hackers and hackathons as well. So that is uh, mentorship and volunteering. There isn't time for questions. So on to John right here. Woo!